What is going on guys? This is Versus All Gaming with my review of Kill La Kill episode 14 and this episode it was definitely a good one. This anime has yet to ever disappoint me and I'm so glad about that because I'm always enjoying it. So the episode starts off with Ry Ryoko. She's having this dream about Senketsu being destroyed. So of course she wakes up in a, in a panic and, and we see that uh, her teacher, what's his name? Uh, Aikuro, he has taken her back to her place where he dressed her because of course we all know Senketsu was destroyed so she was naked but luckily you know he had put he had put her in some bra and panties and he did cover her up so that was a good thing and so he was asking her you know like he, he asked her who defeated her and then he asked her you know why, 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 doesn't, she, why doesn't she join you know nudist beach and then you know while they were talking she was hearing Senketsu's voice and she thought that that he was impersonating her, but it, but it seems that not all of Senketsu was taken away, because there was this one fragment that's like his eye, I guess you could call it, that was left, and Ryoko was holding onto it so tightly that I'm guessing you know nobody could take it away from her, but somehow he managed to. But now that now that Senketsu was back, or at least you know his main part, Ryoko sets out to gather all those pieces that were destroyed. And Aikuro, he's also making this move as when uh, Mamatoro, you know, Mako's brother came along. He asked him, what was he doing here? And basically, you know, Aikuro, he has now, like, dropped that whole teacher persona or that facade that he has going on. He's now abandoning that, and he is going back to Nudist Beach, or I'm guessing, you know, him and his allies will, will get together. So that right there was, like, definitely awesome, but I do hope that we see the character again. Because to me, he is pretty awesome, so I really don't want to see him go go away for that long. But I also want to see some more members of Nudist Beach because they all gotta be crazy or you know just like outrageous, I guess, like like him. Or they could be you know pretty awesome and badass like Tsumagu, because that guy is pretty cool as well. So now now we go to uh, uh, Sa 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 Sasuke who was like who was planning this like raid trip and we just see like all these you know trucks going in these different directions and the areas that, that they're going to attack are Koyoko, Kobe, and Osaka and so we have Nonan going to Koyoko, we have Aira going to Kobe and we have Sanagiyama going to Osaka so the so our, our main point here you know right now in the episode it was where we, we focus on Ira and Kobe, and apparently, you know, did this school here. They have and they have an alliance going on, and they had their representative, uh, Kyuji Obayashi, and, and and even like like a deputy as well, uh, Kanata Sakuramiya. And not only you know did these two have their own forces because we see that they have these Molotov cocktails which they stow at the trucks, but it, they, they really don't do like no harm to it. They also, you know, have help from an American school who have these armored American football corps. But they were actually taken out pretty easily because we learned that the uh, the guidebooks that actually come from, you know, you know, Ira school, they're actually, you know, harder than steel or just, or just the hardest steel. So when they, when they threw them into the uh, armored football corps, the armor shattered pretty easily. So we see right away that like Ira is having no trouble here, but then we go to Koyoko, where Nonan is. Like at first they're like using these illusions because we see these uh main figureheads in the school. They're like the uh, good st student guardians of the north, south, east, and west, and like each one of these students, you know, had like an illusional animal. Like one guy had a turtle, the other had a phoenix, the other one had a dragon, and the last one had a tiger. And they made this like impenetrable barrier according to them. But then we have Hoka, who who was at first, you know, only the uh, Tri-City Special Intelligent uh, Union leader. But he actually, you know, stepped in there and got involved. And he used the, uh, he, he, he used the art club to destroy this barrier. But right after he was done with that... And the uh, and and the school here in Koyoko, they actually bought it. You know, some some real people, some some real people that that can fight. Hoka was definitely you know quick to get out of there and just leave everything to Nonan, and she even thanks him for nothing. 
So now she's like using her own like orchestra to like combat these guys, and they were definitely you know getting taken out pretty easily. But then we go to uh, to Osaka, where my boy Sanakayama is, and our leader here, or well, our their the leader there, I believe his name was Ka Ka Kaneo Takarada. He was like the uh, council president there. And, and he was saying that, you know, uh, Osaka is a merchant town where, like, money runs everything. So, basically, you know, like, money is so important here that you, you can do anything you want as long as you have money. Like, as long as you have money, you'll be the, uh, the top dog. And they, they, their weapon, you know, weapon of choice was, like, guns. But rather than having, like, real ammo, they actually used money. So, Sanagama, you know, right away had a good plan where he had the uh, ping pong club come in there and block the money. But he also had this sumo club come in there and mess him up as well. And then to like wipe out their forces, he had the armored, the, I mean, the, uh, the arm archery and tri club. They came in there and took out all, the, all those forces. But we see when, when he tries to like uh, storm the school, Takarada actually, you know, had more students in there waiting for him, and we see that they were actually pushed back from the school into the city. So things are definitely, you know, heating up there. And so now, now we go back to uh, to Kobe, where Ira is, and we see that the students here they actually had, you know, an ace up their sleeve, where they had this armor tank that that was covered in meat, and they even had this meat armor. But we see that. That the Ira, you know, was prepared for that because thanks to th thanks to that power up that they're getting from those Senketsu pieces, we see that those guidebooks become a lot bigger and a lot stronger as they easily take out that tank, which like which causes it to explode, and you know even cook the meat, which was definitely funny how we saw you know one student eating it, but after you know Ira had to feed everybody in that school and, and, and we're going to take it over, we have Ryogo who was going around collecting the pieces of, in, of Inketsu. And it was definitely cool like, to see her, you know, get the, uh, get the parts back so easily. Because it was like, well, well, actually, you know what? I'll, I'll, I'll say that part for later. But we see that Ryoko has, you know, taken back all the pieces of Senketsu that were on those students there. And she's now heading to the next area, which is Koyoko. And, and then we see, once again, we see the powered up student that the that be part of by Zenketsu, they were wiping out the students in Koyoko, and after they were done, we have Ryoko appearing once again, where which where, where she takes them all out and, and still back those pieces. But you know, I definitely like how how she didn't waste time, because once she had the pieces, she was like out of there. She was she she was like, moving so quickly, and I do wonder you know where she got that motorcycle from because I do think that that, that we've seen that before, but I'm, I'm not too sure. Like maybe we have, but I forgot about it. But I, I don't know where she got it from. But it was definitely cool to see her on it and the way she was using it. Like that right there was cool. But back in back in uh, Osaka, it seemed that Sonic Yama was actually having you know some trouble because even though he was like holding his own, his forces weren't doing that well. Oh, and then we have Mako who was there as well, and she was still being forced to do labor work. But she quickly got distracted when she sold some food, but she had no money, so she was broke. But she act, but she actually saw, you know, some some student getting shot up with money, so she was like provoking this this uh this one guy from from uh, Osaka to shoot her. And when he finally did, not only did she not get hurt, but she actually caught all the money that he was shooting at her. So that right there was awesome. Like Marco is just a funny character, and it seems like she's unbeatable, to be honest. So after she had all this money, she like basically went on, you know, she, she, she bought all this food and then she also went, you know, sightseeing and she went on a, on a, shop, on a shopping spree as well. But we see that, that this guy, uh, Tak Takarada, he's, he's able to bribe people, you know, with, with money because he, he, he has all these civilians that were like blinded by their own greed fighting for him and they were attacking Sanagayama. And it was kind of like he was holding back because we all know that like Sanagayama is probably the strongest member of the elite four. Even even if he doesn't have a uniform, this guy is like pretty freaking strong. So I do feel like he, he was kind of holding back. But to our surprise here, we actually have Sasuke who appears out of nowhere. 
like she the only like she she the only one well she she only appeared to help out you know Sonic Yama. She she never appeared you know back in Kobe or Koyoko because uh, Ira and Nona finished their battle so easily. But Sonic Yama had some trouble because I feel like he was holding back as I, as I was saying. But once she gets there, it's it's it's, it's pretty obvious that you know the battle is definitely going to turn quickly because there is no way that this guy is going to beat her. But while my while uh, Marco was like sightseeing. She's actually spotted by like some of these students that have been powered up by by pieces of Senketsu, and they were actually going to hurt her. Ch 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 Chiryoko came in there and saved her, and now that she you know took back those pieces, there's only one left, and of course she's like wondering where it is. So when she asks Senketsu, we actually learn that it's Sasuke. She has the final part. So now, now we got to see, you know, a very weakened Ryoko, you know, compared to normal, go out there and, and fight Sasuke. But it, it was definitely awesome the, the way that, you know, she went out there and got back those pieces. But my only complaint is, I feel like it was, it was, it was just way too easy for her. Like, we seen those students, you know, like become so powered up. And yet, they basically, you know, they, they got one shot. Like, even... uh. Sin Ketsu said that she was she, she was going around you know instant killing, well you know we all, we all know that she's not killing them but she was she was just like one shotting everyone which even since Sin Ketsu had brought up, I just feel like that this right here should have been a little bit more challenging for her and even though the uh, the, the final piece it is on Sasuke I feel like that right there might not be enough. But it was definitely cool though how, how she went from, you know, not using Senkesu power at all. Because she said during that that fight with Yue, even though she had changed, she was not using, you know, Senkesu power. But now she only has like like a little portion of, of his power left. And yet she's going around, you know, doing all this. So that right there was definitely awesome. I don't know how she's gonna defeat, you know, Sasuke and get that uh fun final piece back, but it should be very interesting. But even though I did have that one little complaint, I feel that the episode overall, it was definitely good. I, mean, I still I still enjoyed it a lot. But as always, please do not forget to like the video and subscribe because that really helps me out. But as always, you guys take it easy and I'll see you all next time.